What is up everyone, it is George from GeoPCs and today we are going to be fixing a MacBook Air. So this originally needed a brand new keyboard, which I've already done, but I found out as turning on the actual machine itself that it needs um, the fan replacing because uh, it makes a horrible like scratching noise. You can't hear it now, like I'm thingy in it. You can't hear it now. But when you turn it on and you, you know, start typing on the keyboard, it's like a, like a horrible, like it's scratching against the plastic. So I'm going to replace it today with the one on this logic board. So I'm going to get that off. So I'm going to change the camera position so you guys can see what I'm doing. And um, yeah, we'll uh, go from there. So this is the fan here that we're replacing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this cable. I'm just going to pop these two up. There we go. I'm just going to move that to the side over here. So, wherever my screwdriver has disappeared to, uh, I might need to change the end on this, but it should be all right for now. So we've got that there. I'll use this instead. That here is the power for the, the fan. So I'm just going to lift that up. So that's done. Um, it's a good idea for us to remove this fan anyway, as this cable here needs to be moved underneath this logic board into there and then goes underneath so anyway. So what we're gonna do is, is there is three screws in this. So we're gonna remove this one first. Here. Let's pop that to the side. And then we've got this one here. Pop that one to the side there. We do have this one here, which I have previously already removed anyway, so it can come out as is. And I'll put that one there. In fact, one size was two. That's fine. So we've got that removed. Now we don't need to actually remove anything from the logic board. We don't need to move this nor this. We just need to remove this. So this should just pop out now with, let's lift that up there. Get it out of the way. There, uh, we remember to um, open up the latch for the the wire, and if you just pull it out like so, it will just pop out. So there you go. That's the uh, the old fan. I'll put this fan to the side, and it's going to go in my parts bin because what I want to try and do is I want to try and repair it. I want to see exactly what's wrong with it. I can't see anything up with it now. Ah, that's what it's doing. Okay, the new one. So what I'm going to do is what's them here is I need to keep that screw. I'm going to reuse that screw. This cable here, I'm actually going to just kind of pop underneath. You don't have to do this because I've already replaced some parts in this for a customer. So um, your motherboard will not look like this. I'm going to just put that in that cable management grommet go underneath there make sure there's no space for that screw i just realized there's a a wire here and i'm wondering if there is enough flex i might there's a wire here and i might that might be the issue actually what i'm gonna do is these two here uh you guys can see it i think it's this cable I could be wrong but it there is to put back on if not just want to flick them off sometimes they're quite temperamental there you go it's only one way to find out yep yeah, I think it is this cable in it might need to okay so might not be anything wrong I'll, I'll what I'll do is I'll put this new one in anyway just in case and I'm gonna diagnose this one because it could be something wrong so what we do is we're going to remove this screw here from the standoff just so I have a bit of flex in the logic board to pull it out and through. And what I'll do is as well, I'll remove this one too for extra measures as it will loosen up the logic board. I'm trying to figure out where it is now. There we go. I think it could be this that might be causing the problem. So I've got that there. What I'm going to do is I could probably 
because that's going to need to go back in there anyway, isn't it? Remove that to pull it in through here. I'm going to also remove this one here. Show you guys. Remove this one here. Flex this board upwards so I can pull it underneath the motherboard itself. actually get it underneath not want to flex it too much do that what will happen is then when I tighten this down it will also tighten the wire with it like so like that and then these two will go there but we'll move not move we'll leave them for now first tricky part is and I suggest is putting in, I need to get like a lamp or something. And I'm so sorry for the echo in here as well. It's a brand new studio. I might get some for this area, like some sound dampening foam or something for the walls. Um, the studio, there you go. The studio I have at home is quieter because the plaster, it's all surrounding plasterboard with some insulation on. So it's a bit more sound dampening than brick. <laughs> and it's obviously a bigger room so right so we got one two three in fact there's that one there as well i've got it done with uh is that the issue there all right what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this one in first so for that screw here there where the charging port is it is this screw with a bigger head on it so just kind of put that on to there, like so. Not too tight, just I keep turning it just to make sure there's not any uh, flex in the in the housing. Put this screw in here. Put this screw in because it's a bit smaller than the last one. Okay. Yep, nothing more. And what I'll do is Put this one in here. One second, actually, this is a more awkward one, but I'm getting to it. Okay. Yeah, awesome. What we'll do is we'll put this back over on here, like so. That's kind of popped out, so I'll just put that back in. Okay. And then the, this cable over here, we will move as you can tell it's not actually directly under the motherboard now like it was before so this is the bigger wire so i will what i'll do is i'll swap these around actually because that one's going to go there and that one's going to go there so longer wire is the furthest port or the aerial furthest aerial Can't do that. these are the more annoying ones and once you put this on so that cable's in you don't hear the flex on that. What I'm going to do is just to make sure I can actually close it. Sometimes you can't close it. Yep, you can close it. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to put this back on. So the elbow, which is that, the L, goes on this logic board. And it should just click down. And then this one here which will send power to this main logic board where all the parts are. Make sure it's on properly because sometimes they're not, they don't always go on correctly. Right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a power up or a power cycle or whatever. Make sure it powers up and make sure there's not that horrible noise. Yep, the sound has gone, it's quiet. The fan is running but it's not making a horrible tearing so now yeah. tearing noise so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to have to try and get into the bios i'll stick a new um thing on it because problem with apple is when you start changing parts the motherboard detects it and decides to um well get rid of everything that's how you replace the fan on the um um on the logic board this one does sound a bit more what it was doing is when you put pressure on that 
and you start to turn it, that noise, that's the noise it was making. And I don't think it was the fan, I actually think, oh no, it is the fan. There's a bit of a, ah, uh, there's a slight crack in one of the fins. That's what, okay, it was the fan. I've just only seen that now. So it didn't help underneath the motherboard, the antenna cables were running through it. So it didn't have that spacing for flexing. So it was basically hitting that straight away. So when you start typing on it, it makes makes that noise. Um, but what I'll do is I'm, I'm going to try and fix that fan because it's going to be useful for another build or repair in a computer because it still powers up, it still spins. Um, I might be able to get one of them maybe. Might just be able to get a new ones. But you see, if I was to move this, it still runs fine. It's just when you start putting pressure on it, it does that. So... I'm going to have a look into that, might be able to source one of them out for like two pence because they're only plastic fins and, um, and blades. So I'll have a look at that, but that'll be good for parts, you see, so I'm going to keep that. But if you were looking at a quick repair for your fan, that is how you disconnect all the screws and cables. So yeah, it's a delicate process. And just remember, if you're swapping out your um, MacBook with a new logic board and you put your SSD on it, you think your date's going to be on it? It's not because that's... Apple for you. It the system or computer picks it up and decides to not um sort it out. But yeah, I'm gonna sort out the rest of this MacBook how the customer wants and we will get it back to him. So thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make. See you later.